Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. I'm coming. 
covered in blood. I, I can't go anywhere looking like this. Out of order. Out of order. order. this neighborhood before the police get here. I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. Nobody goes anywhere. Crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. 
Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston, a regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. God, poor Johnny was such a nice guy. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit, the weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. Kate, try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really gonna need your help. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. 
He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Night. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the murder weapon. Who used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, I want you to verify that Garrett has lifted the prints off this knife handle. Have him check out the blood on the blade as well. Okay. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Man, stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy... 